Okay, in this video, we're going to be introducing the uh, dongle configuration process for Gruat inverters. So firstly, uh, we have like two different um, Wi-Fi dongle. The first one is uh, this one. So this one is Shine Wi-Fi X. The model name for this dongle is called Shine Wi-Fi X. And this dongle, uh, like normally, is compatible with like most of the main series inverter and the mode series inverter, which is single phase and three phase inverter. And the other model is uh, Shine Wi-Fi S for this dongle. We can say the uh, pin is different and this is like RS232 uh, port and the Shine Wi-Fi X is uh, USB port. So for the S model, uh, it is compatible with most of the S series inverter and also for the standard hybrid SPH inverters. So in this video, we are going to be showing the uh, configuration process for the main series inverter. So firstly, you need to download the app called Shine Phone App. And once you download that, you just uh, click register. If you don't have any account, you need to register it first. So enter the first row country or region, you just select Australia, and then input your username and password. And then input your email address and click send verification code and check your email address you have received that verification code. And the last row is installer code. Um, if you are an installer uh, to help your customer to like register this account, you can input your installer code. However, if you do not have the installer code, you can, ju you can just like leave it blank. And once you like input every details and just click register because uh, we already have an account, so we just log in. All right, when you log in, you can say the first step is to the uh, scan the Wi-Fi dongle. So we can say in the dongle, here is a QR code. But just uh, before we do the um, configuration, you need to make sure the dongle is flashing red. It means it is like ready for the configuration. So first thing you can see the dongle is flashing red. And then we'll just scan the QR code. So once you scan the QR code, you can see the serial number and check code will be automatically filled in. So we just choose configure. And once you click configure, there are like two steps. The first one is standard mode and the second one is hotspot mode. So if the jungle is uh, flashing red, and then we can choose the first one, standard mode. And we, in most of the case, we recommend you to use the standard mode. It's, it is much easier for the configuration. And so step one, connect the phone to the router. So, and you just click next, and then you can say, so this is uh, a Wi-Fi signal that your mobile phone has currently connected to. So make sure it's your, this is your um, like Wi-Fi signal from your property, and then we just click next. So you just input the Wi-Fi password. Okay, uh, before you connect this, uh, before you configure the dongle, you need to double check the Wi-Fi password and the Wi-Fi uh, the Wi-Fi name and password. Make sure there's no special characters contained in both the Wi-Fi name and the password, like underscore, space, uh, hashtag, or hyphen, because uh, our dongle can, like, cannot recognize the special characters. And secondly, you need to double check this uh, Wi-Fi signal, make sure it's 2.4G as our dongle can only recognize 2.4G Wi-Fi. And once you checked, and then you can choose configure immediately. So you can say in the app, it is not, it is loading. So you can say it is configured successfully. And also from the dongle, we can see the LED changed from uh, flashing red to flashing blue, which means it is connected to the internet successfully. And then we just click return to the uh, power station. And then you can like monitor your device in the Shine Phone app. Uh, however, in some of the case, if the first method failed, then you can try the second, the second method, which is a hotspot mode. 
to use the hotspot mode, uh, you need to like reset the dongle. So you can see there is a button down the bottom of the dongle. You just long press and hold until you see the rainbow color, of the multiple colors. And then the and then the LED light should be turned to a uh, solid blue. And once it's solid blue, you can try the second method, which is hotspot mode. So we start from scan the QR code. All right, can can you see the have already scanned and just click configure. And in this, <coughs> so the first. I think the, uh, the method we tried previously is standard mode, and this time we try hotspot mode, and make sure it's like solid, solid, blue, solid blue light on the dongle. Just click hotspot mode. And step one, short press the dongle button to enter the hotspot mode, just make sure it's solid blue, and then we can just click next. So you can say hotspot connection, we choose go to set, and then find that signal which is generated by the dongle. The signal should be the dongle serial number, which is XGD, that one. Uh, if it asks you for the password, the password is 12345678. Once you put the password, and make sure like your mobile phone has connected to the dongle's Wi-Fi. And once you confirm, okay, we go back to Shine for an app, and then we can click next. All right, this time you need to find your router's Wi-Fi signal, and make sure this is a Wi-Fi, this is a router, uh, the signal which is generated by a router, and double check the Wi-Fi name and the password. Like I said, uh, make sure there's no special characters contained. And once you double checked, we can choose configure immediately. Right, it is loading. Just wait. If it's connected successfully, and the light should be changed to so to be changed to a uh, flashing blue. So now we can say it's a rainbow color, and it is configured successfully. So it's still rainbow. And it turns to solid green at the moment. Yeah, and then from the app, we can see it is configured successfully. We'll just go back to the power station. I can say it's flashing red. It will turn to a uh, flashing blue later. Just need to wait. Yeah, it is flashing blue now. Yeah, and also back to the app, you can say your device is online. You can say it's online, the data logger. All right, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching.